It's a um, really special sacred art for not just Ukrainians but Eastern Europeans. Um, I'm, Ukra I'm half Ukrainian and my mom's side is Slovak. They both do this type of art. Um, and it dates back to the, um, the pre-Christian era. Um, there's a variety of techniques, a variety of symbolism, um, different regions have kind of different styles, um, and the overall kind of um, purpose, well they're made year, year round, but especially during this week of Lent. It's more of a very, a very intricate one. I think that historically um, it's an art that has sometimes been forbidden um, for us to do. Um, and I think just the meaning behind it, the symbolism behind it is so beautiful. The symbolism is that all life begins with the egg, right? And so the shell represents the heavens and the egg white represents water and then the yolk represents the earth. And so it's just very kind of biblical and symbolic and, and important, important in the culture. I grew up with them kind of around my house. My mom would do them um, for fun. Um, and so I grew up around them, was always interested. Um, and then about 10 years ago, I went to the Ukrainian Basilica, or Ukrainian National Shrine rather, in DC. And they were doing a class. And from there, I just, I loved it and started really kind of teaching myself and improving. And I have my first egg that I ever did. And when we look a little further, you can see how well I have improved over the years. Um, but yeah, it's become a big passion. There's also superstition around um, if you crack an eggshell, you can't, and, and you've already put a design on it, you can't just throw that in the garbage because a witch could come and get it and use it for nefarious purposes. So you either want to grind it up and like give it to your chickens or throw it into a running stream of water. Um, do I adhere to all that? No, <laughs> I don't have chickens. I don't. <laughs> um, but there are a lot of folks that will repurpose broken shells into like jewelry or, or other 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 things to avoid throwing eggshells away. I'm a human rights major. I think all war is awful. It's it's definitely sad that they um, have to be in such a situation, especially during such a holy time as Easter. Um, Easter is very important to Ukrainians. Um, I'm personally Byzantine Catholic. Many Ukrainians are as well, or Orthodox. Um, so, so Lent is, is very sacred time. They should be you know, putting together Easter baskets and doing these eggs and spending time with family and going to church, you know, not having to be you know, in the bomb shelters. And I just, I hope it gets resolved quickly and people can go about their lives. This one needs a little bit more of a soak. I think, I think what's also cool about these eggs is there's a, a story that there's a, or folklore, that there's a chained monster in like the mountains of Eastern Europe. And every year he sends out his little minions to count how many eggs have been created in the world. And if enough have been created, then he goes back into hiding for another year. But if, if, he, if the minions you know, say, oh, not enough, then his chains get, chains get loosened and evil's allowed to go out into the world. So that folklore kind of says, you know, make as many as you possibly can through the Easter season and help keep that you know, evil at bay. So it's also share, share that we need more people making these, in other words. <laughs>